Alright, I'm going to show off how to do the block clip in Zelda 1. This allows you to clip through blocks, obviously, and bushes, and other things. And this allows you to skip fighting, such as in level 5 with the blue dark nuts and level 9 in multiple locations. And so what you do is you walk up to a block, and you're either going to line up Link's head with the line on the square. You can see where there's like the blue square, or like the blue, the dark blue lines up with the blue square in the middle. And you're going to stab your sword, and then tap right. And as you see, Link turned down. This means that you actually got the tricks. If you hold forward, you're going to clip through the block. And if I were to hold left, I would actually go through the block and I'm enter the stairway. And this can be used to skip a lot of fighting, because usually you have to kill everything and then push this block. But we don't have to do the fighting. So, sometimes it's very weird how it works. It's based on my Link's animation. As you can see, the head doesn't line up, but the glitch still works. It's very, very weird how the... Like how the clip actually works. It's based on Link's animation. Basically, I want to either line it up or line a one pixel away. Like that. So, see, yeah, I was one pixel away from the general location I want to look for, but it still worked. So, if you're too far away, Link will turn to the right. As you can see here, I'm too far away, so that's why you turn to the right. And if you're too close, like right now, I'm right up against the block and I'll turn right as well. Or if you're too close but still not like up against it, you'll won't move anywhere. It's right here. Clip right through. And this saves a lot of time, so I definitely recommend learning it. It's the same basic concepts as the screen scroll, like why it works. You basically confuse the game as to like where your hitbox actually is. And you're able to go through things. So that's about it.